So then, what is the story with this one? I only know a tiny bit of the story. Basically, all I know is that this car was found in a garage of a pretty, pretty large house and people didn't even know that it was there. It was completely covered in mattresses and God knows what else. And yeah, it had been sitting there for the best part of 30 years. The previous tax disc was from 1994. So it's pretty safe to assume that it's been off the road for at least 29 years. And I have no idea why it was parked up in the first place. Does it run? I have no idea. Is the engine blown up? I have no idea. Is the transmission good? Again, no clue. But what I do know is, is that this is a 1979 BMW E12 520. I think we need to take a look around, don't we? Now then, before we get into things and before I show you around this car, please do me a massive favor hit that like button, it really does help me out. It shows your appreciation and it gets this video out to as many people as possible. Now, I just wanna clear a few things up. This car has a very clean history. It was owned by the previous owner from 1985 until he unfortunately passed away. But you'll see just how original this car is, the amount of documents it has still with it, the amount of paperwork, and yeah, it really is a sight to see. This thing is like a time capsule. Now then, let's show you around. So I think we'll start with the exterior. I'm just gonna let you take it all in. Like I said, this car is all original, has not been touched since the mid 90s. I haven't cleaned this, this is how it arrived. So this bird poo, this could be the best part of 30 years old, no idea. We do have some weight saving on the rear arch here. It is to be expected. You know, this is a 44 year old car at the end of the day. Overall though, this car is pretty solid. I'm fairly confident that it's not just going to disintegrate. If ever we do try to drive this thing, but we do for sure have some rusting, very, very common on the bottoms of the doors, especially on the near side, because this is of course the side that gets all of the salt. The sills though, I mean, I'm sure we have some surface rust, but they appear to be pretty solid. Having a quick look underneath. As you can see, really doesn't look too bad. It's probably the original exhaust as well. Let's have a quick look at the fuel tank actually. Oh, that's a spare wheel well. Oh wow. Look at that fuel tank. I was kind of half expecting that to be rusted out, but that is, <laughs> that is as good as you like. That is really not too bad. One area I have noticed that is pretty badly rusted is this rear quarter here. It's kind of the bumper, but it's not separate. I think the chassis is all just one complete piece. I think this little strip here, this is essentially the bumper and this is, I guess, screwed onto the body of the car. But yeah, definitely uh, some weight saving going on here. 
so we won't touch that too much. <laughs> but yeah, that's the exterior. I really don't know what else I can show you. Oh, it has a sunroof, which I believe does still work. So is that a good thing? I don't know. I don't know if it's a good thing to have a sunroof on one of these. I guess we'll start in the boot if it opens. Oh, it's already open. Wow. Have you seen a boot lid as clean as that before? Of course we have some surface rust, but that is not bad at all. Is this the original toolkit? Look at that. All appears to be present. I mean, I'm sure it's been used a good few times. I mean, this was this car was made in a year when people actually worked on their own cars. But you know, it's all there. This wow. Don't know what's going on with that. I guess that a couple of screws missing from that. Wow. Okay. Spare wheel, oil filter box. Oh, wait, surely not. A new oil filter. That is, wow. Do we have a date on this? No, I don't think we do. Maybe a date on the box. £3.95. Seeing that price tag there, that just reminds me of the 90s. You just don't see that anymore, do you? I'll definitely keep this though, might, might come in handy. What's this? This is the wheel wrench. That's there as well. Appears to be some kind of ducting. No idea. What's this? I think this is just the, isn't this just the, like the back? partition wall I think it is the nuts just came down I think yeah, all this is just plastic the walls of the boot yeah wait did I see oh wow <laughs> oh it's not full <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a can of baked beans from the early 90s but it's an empty one. But never even heard of that red gold baked beans. I'm sure some of my older viewers will probably have seen this before. Maybe. No idea. Oh, what else do we have? A piece of cardboard. A book. Very nice. The Royal Liverpool Golf Club, 1990. That makes sense because this car was from the Liverpool area. So maybe the previous owner was a golfer. I don't know. I have another book here. Old towns and cities. 1947, this book was. Lovely. What else do we have in here? Is this like the warning triangle? 
from back in the day, I'm guessing so. Yeah, spare wheel still has air. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't actually say, but these are of course the original tires and they're all still holding air and they have now for the past week or so, which is, yeah, pretty amazing. They are definitely a bit dry rotted. Good year. So, should be decent tyres. USA, Canada, Australia. But these tyres could potentially be from the late 80s, early 90s. You definitely don't see tyres like this anymore though. With that sort of tread pattern. Let's see what else we have in here. Some overalls it looks like. Not quite sure what that is. It's another book. Yeah, another book. Just look how clean this boot floor is there. I'm not sure I want to really touch that, but this thing is, this is clean. No rust in here at all. Tiniest amount of surface rust back there, but you know, that's solid. Another book, challenge, duplicate book. I'm quite sure what this is from, some sort of air filter, air cleaner, I don't know. I don't know if these are the original BMW mats, I don't... Oh wow, no they are, I was wrong. BMW. These are the original mats from 1979. And you know what? Aside from this small tear here, they're actually in pretty good condition. Usually all this would be worn off. That's brilliant. Do you have any other goodies in here? A newspaper. The Liverpool Echo. This is from 1985. Hmm, this, this paper must have been left in here for about 10 years or so then, maybe. I don't know. Wow, you never see news, newspapers like that now, do you? <sighs> what do we have here then? I'm guessing that is for the fuel tank. Probably the fuel pump under there, I'm guessing. Some hooks. Binocular case. Piece of wood. Not sure what this is. Some sort of valve. Two way valve. No idea. We may find out though. Hopefully this isn't why this thing was, you know, put to rest for so long. A wheel cylinder. Which, this is probably a new one, right? I know it's cracked, but it has the bung in, so maybe this was supposed to have been swapped out or maybe it was just a spare one that was kept in the car what else do we have first aid kit well I don't know if this is a BMW first aid kit or what but this definitely looks like it has been used just look how old that tin looks 
This is great, I love this kind of stuff. Wunschnellverband. Interesting. One thing I have noticed, this thing, is this the aerial? Is this an electric aerial? I don't know how to pull it up, but I assume that's what this thing is. But yeah, that's the boot area. I think I'll put this back in there for now. Next, let's look inside the car. Starting at the rear. Okay, it definitely smells like the car has been sitting for a long time. Yeah, it kind of has that musty smell as you would expect I mean I know this thing is absolutely covered in cobwebs but can I just say how good is the condition of this interior I'm fairly confident with a clean, these seats will come up like new. You wouldn't even think somebody sat in this. And this is a 44 year old car. The armrest still works. Look at the parcel shelf. Still all there and present. Look at the carpets. Again, all there and present, no tears of any kind. This may lead us to some clues as to why <laughs> it was left to sit, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out with that one. Maybe this as well. What's it? Oh, wow. Okay, so that is the other part of the number plate. Yeah, I think, again, I think these are the original number plates. I guess that is where it was bought from. I think this was originally from Scotland, this car. But yeah, I'm just astounded at how good the condition of this car is. Look at the door cards. Real leather this will be as well. Is this an ashtray? Wow. Does the window work? Yep, it does. I don't want to put it down all the way just in case it gets stuck, but it works. Look at the headliner. Wow. I thought this thing was going to be sagging but it's not. Yeah, let's have a look in the front now. See what we find in here. Look at the size of that steering wheel. How thin it is as well. And it's upside down, I think. And that's just the BMW badge is upside down. I'm sure one of you in the comments will tell me if this is the right way up or not. Because I think the wheels are pretty straight. So unless we have a wheel alignment issue. Or the wheel is upside down. I don't know. Parking brake. That does hold by the way. It's not stuck. That goes for all of the brakes. The car actually rolls nice and freely. Which is surprising after sitting for best part of 30 years but yeah parking brake holds it's not stuck now you're probably wondering what this is no it's not a manual but it is a three-speed zf automatic transmission which i'm led to believe are pretty reliable 
I don't know, don't quote me on that, but yeah, all looks to be there and present. We have the original radio. Blow punked. I know they still make radios today. Oh wow, that is so cool. What's this? Uh, is this the Demista? Oh, I love that. I love how analog that is. Cigarette lighter. I bet this thing still works. I love this as well. How retro does that look? Oh, I guess I should probably show you how many miles this thing has done. 79,635. That is low mileage. For a car that's 44 years old, 79,000 miles. And to be honest, I believe it because the condition that this interior is in, this has not seen a lot of use. Ah, oh, the wood trim. And this will just be solid wood as well. No cracks or anything. That is amazing. Look at the dash. I'm led to believe that dashes on older cars like to crack. I guess because this has been kept away from the sun, it has stood the test of time. This interior is in amazing condition. Rear view mirror. This is the sunroof. Do we try and open it? Go on then. It's doing something. I don't want to break it there. Am I doing it right? Yes, yeah, it's opening. I really don't want to break this handle. It seems a bit flimsy. Wow. First time. In 30 years, the sunroof has opened. Wait, how do I close it now? And it closes fine as well. I'm fairly certain these spiders have long foregone their use by date. These things are ancient. Let's see what we have down here on the floor. Now, I know about this. The guy who I bought this car from gave this to me. This has the original books from BMW, the handbook, service history. Yes, this car has service history. It has, well, let's take a look actually. So this is what we have then. In this folder, we have original radio service documents. We have BMW service manual. Join the BMW car club, founded in 1952. We have the original V5 document from 1985. I've just flipped it over to hide the previous owners details we have this jet map book folder jet root cards bmw service history bmw owner's manual and this thing i have had a good look through it this thing is very very comprehensive it tells you how to maintain your car very very well not like the service manuals not like the handbooks that you'd expect to see in today's models very handy that may come in maybe wondering what this is welcome to the RAC this 
has the original keys in for the telephone boxes so I guess I don't know when they stopped this but I guess in the 80s and the 90s you would have one of these keys in your cars and if you was to break down you could go to a telephone box bear in mind this is pre mobile phones you would go to a telephone box and phone for assistance and I guess that's what the RAC trucks looked like at the time very very cool this is I love this sort of stuff what's this <laughs> a box of matches again this looks old well it still has matches in too I bet they'd still light up oh it still has the original key too I guess this is the original BMW key then it also has a bunch of other keys as well so I'm not sure what the case is for these I'm not sure if these are house keys or if they're just extra cut car keys no idea not quite sure who this guy is either guy or gal if you do know leave a comment yeah, nothing on it really. This is a cute little koala bear though. We have even more relics in here. Again, some kind of pipework or ducting. I'm quite sure what that is for. A BMW 518 or 520 owner's workshop manual this could be invaluable so I guess this is the equivalent to like a Haynes manual of today very very cool not quite sure what this is a parking disc I don't I don't really remember these as a kid. I just remember the disabled parking discs. Mind our children. I didn't know there was. Yeah. If you know, then you'll probably know. Let, let us know. We have a bag here. Where is this from? It's from France or Belgium. No. It's from Droitwich, apparently. <laughs> Another one of those parking discs, sunglasses, or I guess, you know, a sunglass accessory for your existing glasses. Well, wow, look how all these maps are. This is a ignition coil, I believe. Let's have a look if we have anything in the glove box. This is where we find a mice infestation. Oh no. Appears to be fine. I think that's hanging down a bit. We do have more paper though. What's this? Visors for your glasses. Just a little plate, you know, just in case. And a spring, probably for the carburetor. 
which I guess next we should move on to the engine bay. And these old BMW bonnets, they open a lot different to how they do nowadays. So you pull the front, you pull the bonnet forward, and then you can lift it up like so. Wow. Just look at how original this is. The old style air filter, air cleaner. Should be sitting on top of a four barrel carburetor. Wow, everything still appears to be intact, minus a battery. I think we need to check some fluids. I think that'd be a good place to start. So I guess first thing we should check is the engine oil. This has got to be the dipstick for it, I'm guessing. Not very good design. It's kind of overlapping the vacuum hose. Well, it looks like we have oil. Yeah, we definitely have oil. And to be honest, that's not the worst oil I've seen. Let's see which kind of level we're at. We're actually pretty much bang at the max. Let's have a quick smell. That did not smell good. <coughs> but I guess what can you expect from 30 year old, probably conventional engine oil. I think we'll just put that back in. But that's a good start. We have oil. It's at the correct level. It's not overfilled. It's not underfilled. I couldn't smell any petrol in there, so that's a good sign also. We can check the automatic transmission fluid as well. Which, oh wow. Oh wait, oh wow. Look how clean that is. I was a bit concerned because this was like, it looked very clean. I thought there was no fluid in it, but it's just because the oil's very clean. This fluid looks brand new. How is this even possible? Again, we'll check a level. This is slightly overfilled, which I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. It's good that it's not underfilled, I guess, but 
yeah, this fluid looks suspiciously clean. Now, I'm kind of not expecting there to be any other fluids. Of course, we have the coolant, we have brake fluid, we have power steering fluid, and we have screen wash. Let's start with the screen wash. I know there's going to be nothing in there, but I guess we'll just check it anyway, see what the see what the tank looks like. Now, so it's kind of like a filter in here. If this is anything like modern BMWs, they get very, very gummed up. You're not going to believe this. There is actually water in there. Let me get a torch so I can show you. Can you see that? How is water still there after 30 years? That is strange. I thought that would have evaporated long ago. That's crazy. Now let's check the coolant. Again, I'm not expecting there to be anything in here. I think the cap is stuck. Oh, I don't think I was turning it far enough. Yeah, I mean, the tank's definitely empty, but it is a bit wet in there. So it looks like there was something in there pretty recently. So, I don't know, is that just evaporated? Do we have a leak? I don't know, but I'm guessing we're gonna find out. What's next? Brake fluid. I'm guessing this has leaked out by now. Wait, we have sensors or at least wires going into the brake fluid. Surely this didn't have... <laughs> wow, we have, bre we have brake fluid in here. But what I was gonna say is, surely this didn't have like a level sensor or something. Just unplug that. And unplug that. I'm interested to see how this brake fluid looks. It will be very filled with water. Wow. I should stop smelling things, really. This brake fluid looks better than a lot of modern cars that I've worked on. I've got to show you this. How good does that brake fluid look? How is this even possible? That's the level. We're between the minimum and the maximum. How has this all not leaked out somewhere? This is bizarre. These were the wires that I was talking about as well. I don't, I'm not quite sure what they're for. Surely, like, like I said, surely this doesn't have a level sensor. That's kind of what it looks like. I don't know how it would work though. Oh, maybe it's, this is like a float. Not sure. Again, let me know if you know if this has a brake fluid level sensor from 1979. Now then, I guess all that's left is the power steering fluid, but I can already see that looks pretty rusty, that wing nut, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to crack that off. <laughs> yeah. I think this is one for another day because this is definitely seized on. The thread is definitely gonna snap and I don't wanna do this today. <laughs> I wanna leave that for another day. 
What I did think was cool though, the original Vintag. Of course it has the VIN quite clearly on it. BMW 520 Auto. But what is cool is BMW made in W Germany. So that's West Germany. That's cool to see. And just look how original this is under here. Still have the original stickers. Wow, this is crazy. Didn't even notice this. This foam pad, this, I guess, I don't know, insulation or vibration cover, but it appears to all still be intact. How can foam from 44 years ago still be intact. Maybe it was these guys keeping it in shape. Now, I know what you all want me to do. Try and fire this engine up. Look, I'm not just gonna stick a battery on this and turn the key. This needs a whole bunch of checks before we get to that point. For starters, it has a timing belt that's more than likely perished. You know, I haven't even checked under the rocker cover yet. We have to do a full inspection because by just sticking a battery on this, cranking it, we could just, you know, basically destroy the engine. Not to mention the fuel supply. If it did have fuel in this, it's 30 years old. It's way, way, way you know, past its best and, you know, introducing that into the engine is just gonna cause, you know, a lot more issues. So yeah, we are gonna have to do a full in-depth check and I'll probably make a full video trying to get this thing running again. But what we can do right now is see if the engine is seized. Let's try and locate the crankshaft pulley nut and let's see if we can get this thing turning. So, the crank bolt is 27 mil, which is a bit strange. I guess, let's try a breaker bar on it. If it does move, then I don't wanna move it far because, like I said, this thing, this thing has a timing belt, so no idea what kind of condition that's in. Ah. Yeah, we're on and I guess we'll go clockwise. Here goes nothing. Oh. It moved. I'm a little bit apprehensive to try and move it further until we do some big checks, but it moved. Let's try a little bit more. No, it seems pretty stuck now. Oh, no. It's moving. Okay, so the engine is not seized, which Again, I'm very, very surprised about, but I have just taken a look inside of the oil filler cap. As you can see, that's pretty rusty. That's not great. And I can see a couple of the camshaft lobes. They look pretty good, but there's definitely not been oil at the top of the engine for a long time. And it's a bit crispy in there. There's a lot of, I don't know what it is, corrosion. So yeah, I don't think I really want to rotate this with all that corrosion in here. I think this needs a good flush out at least, or I'll maybe even remove the rocker cover and, you know, manually remove it. But yes, we know that this engine rotates. Let's put that back on. And so generally we're looking pretty good in the engine bay. Everything seems original. I can't see 
you know, too many modifications that have been done. Like, you know, these pipes, they have may maybe been changed. Now I'm sure there'll be some clamps here and there, but everything looks present. We have oil, we have transmission fluid, we have washer fluid, that's very important. We have brake fluid. The engine turns, albeit, you know, we haven't done a full rotation, but we do have quite a lot of corrosion at the top of the engine. So yeah, I don't really want to go any further until we've at least gave that a good clean out. But like I said, there will be a full video of me trying to get this thing up and running. And I'm excited, I must say. So then, what is next for the car? Of course, I do want to get this thing up and running if it will fire, but I think next what we need to do is give this thing its first clean in 30 years. Not only will that be incredibly satisfying, especially to get some of this ancient bird poo off, but I think we need to see what we're really looking at. You know, if I take a pressure washer to this, will the wing just fall off? I don't know, but I guess we really need to find out so we can see really how deep we're into this thing. So yeah, I think that's gonna be the next video. We are gonna give this thing its first wash in 30 years. I'm gonna end this one here. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it. Hopefully you are excited for a new project. I certainly am. I've wanted to do something classic for the longest time ever, especially something with a carbureted engine on you know i've worked on a lot of fuel injected cars you know mostly modern stuff but to work on something this old with a completely different setup i am looking forward to getting my hands dirty and learning a lot i'm sure as well so yeah i'm gonna leave this one here hopefully you've all enjoyed it please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i will see you all in that next one